Hello and welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate a new functionality which is Bank Master Workflow. So this Bank Master Workflow has different aspects. It's not only, you know, that normal workflow framework. It has many more things which I would like to describe in this video. But I would, I would describe the prerequisite first, which is, well, I mean, this workflow is available from Tero 40 version. And before enabling or configuring the workflow, you need to enable this new feature called Bank Account Lifecycle Management. Why it calls Bank Account Lifecycle Management, I will describe in this video. So first, you need to enable it once you are in the 1040 version and later and then in the cash and bank management module you need to come to the setup and under setup the last option is cash and bank master data chain setup so here you need you will have this new form so this cash and bank master sorry this bank master workflow not only you know modification it also helps to have a workflow on the creation of bank master as well along with it along with this creation and modification you know workflow dynamics team has given a nice functionality called change history okay and along with that you have a data entity behavior it is similar to vendor and customer modification workflow which is if you you know upload any bank master in the system so how the data entity will work whether it will allow to create the bank without any workflow or you know it will restrict or it will reject changes or it will create change proposal you have to submit into the workflow so that is the data entity behavior okay so i will not talk about on this much because that is very similar to the cash and uh, sorry customer and vendor modification workflow but the important thing which i would like to describe and demonstrate which is change approval on modification change approval on creation so if you want you can you know disable it uh the modification or disable it for creation so it is up to you if you want to keep it for both of them like creation also and modification also you can keep so for creation you just need to submit it to the workflow before the bank is operational and for modification you will have these options like you can configure or you can enable it so dynamics has given lot of uh, lot of fields where you want to have this trigger of the workflow so if i have enabled the name main account iban so if anything changes in the bank master the you have to submit into the workflow to get it updated okay and change history is like that i will talk about other than the describing in theoretical so let's then after enabling it you can just configure the workflow from the cash and bank management workflows you can configure the workflow as the standard workflow setup so once these three prerequisites are maintained, like, you know, you have to be 10 or 40 version and the feature will be enabled for life cycle, bank life cycle management new feature. And then the setup, you need to configure cash and bank master data chain setup. And then you need to configure the workflow and your setup is done. After that, what we will do, we will just see by creating a new bank. Okay. So I will create a new bank. I will give maybe... Uh, PNB Indian Bank give this number and save it. Okay, I need to give a main account number. Okay, I will save it. So, if you notice, the bank is saved, but this bank account status coming as inactive for all transactions. And if you want to change it manually, it will not allow you to change or it will not allow you to save it because this will give an error that the bank account status field initially set to inactive for all transactions during bank account creation after the workflow is approved the value will be updated to your selected choice there is a control which microsoft has given so you cannot just create the bank without submitting the workflow if the setup is enabled for the workflow workflow for bank for creation of bank okay so now what i need to do i need to submit it to the workflow to get this bank activated so i have submitted this one so I need to wait. So before this goes to the uh, goes to the uh, approvers, I want to talk about something on this. So once you have submitted, you can see this option, new option called changes in the action pane. And under the changes, you will see change proposal and change history. 
I will talk about one by one. The change proposal is very similar to the vendor and master modification workflow which states what was before and what was after. So if you see, this is coming automatically. So if you submit to the workflow for new bank account, the previous value was inactive for all transactions. And system automatically will change once it is approved, it will change to active for all transactions. Okay. So this is the change proposal. I will also talk about in detail when you go with deep into the modification workflow after this bank is created. So the change history. Change history is a very nice functionality, I would say, which is a very new to this workflow framework, which is this will, you know, this will help the finance team or the audit team to track what was changed and this will become a history for all those changes. If you see, I have submitted to this to the workflow and what is the change type creation? The workflow status is pending because I have not approved it. Who has submitted? Who is the approver? What is the bank document type? Okay. So now you can also track this workflow history as well for this change. Okay. So what I will do, I will just go back. Now I will just refresh it. I will approve it. I will just keep the comment part. Uh, it will take some seconds maybe and then it will change to inactive from inactive to active. It is now activated. So now if I see these changes under the changes, this changes changes proposal is not there because there is no change running change in this workflow. This is not in the in the review. So this is disabled. And in the change history, now you will see the approver and submitter and the workflow data is completed. And if you also see the detail uh, workflow history, and if you want to see the detail, this will give you the detail that like what was the before value, what is the after value, currency and all. Okay. So now this is, so this is the creation workflow for bank account. Now, if I change, if I want to change something based on the prime, para, you know, enable parameter or enable field as for the parameter, what we have done. So if you, it, it, it will be in the same form, which is available in vendor modification workflow and customer modification workflow. So if I see, I will change some of them, say routing number, maybe ENP. So now it will bring all the before and after in the array field, like what, what is the field which is going to be changed. Now what I will do, I will submit it. So now remember, this is the modification framework. So the workflow is same, but it works with two different things, which is one is creation of bank master and modification of bank master. Okay. So those who have, you know, uh, customized the vendor modification workflow and customer modification workflow and extended it for creation, they might relate it because they had to customize it like this way that only one work workflow was there and the same workflow was, you know, at least for me personally, I have experienced that I have I have asked the developer to customize the same workflow for modification and creation. So the dynamics, the Microsoft also, you know, has brought the same framework, but they have given nice functionality, which is called change proposal and change history. And not only this, so in the vendor modification and customer modification workflow, once this change is approved, you cannot see the previous changes, right? Proposed changes, but from for, for this workflow at least, Microsoft has given that for this change, what was the ask, asked, you know, what was the proposed and after change. So if you see this change history states, it is the creation of change type and this history is modification. If you want any time in future, you can see what was there and what is changed as part of this history. Okay. You can also check the workflow history based on the changed pattern or change type this is very nice because you know this was missing for all of the workflows you cannot just see other earlier changes you can only see that recent changes right so now what i will do i will just approve it okay so once it is approved
so once it is in uh, in a workflow all the fields will be disabled but still you can proceed with the transaction with the old value unless this is changed or approved so we'll wait for some time because it is taking some time to get updated with the changes how i will get to know because these fields are not editable that means um thus you know this change state is changed for pending approval so i've approved it we'll wait for a couple of seconds more let's see okay so now the status is changed to change changes pending approval so now anyone from the higher management or audit team ask you that give the life cycle of this bank you can easily go back to this chain history and you can give this detail that for this bank it was created it was submitted who has approved right and what was the detail details and the next one is modification you can anytime go go back into any modification changes and you can give the workflow history and you can give the details that what was there in this change and what is change, what is exactly change in this change type right so this is a nice thing i would say microsoft has given you can track any changes uh, the earlier changes anytime and you can give these details and you can track these details in the system itself so there is no there will be no gap any question arise from the audit team or senior management you can go back to this change history and you can give these details to them okay this is a nice thing i would say and i would expect that microsoft take some initi initiative to bring this framework like changes change history framework to all the workflow so that you know there is there will be no here and there situation that there that is not there that is not there i really appreciate the new changes and this feedback you know i personally think it is a good change microsoft has brought as part of this you know bank master creation of workflow ultimately this new workflow will help the treasury team because this has been a big ask from treasury team that they want to put a control on the bank accounts there is no workflow right so from 10 or 40 version you can utilize this workflow and utilize this framework specifically right so if i go back to this feature name which is you know uh, the name is ca cash and bank uh, life cycle management so now you can relate that this is why this is called life cycle management you can actually track the life cycle of one bank what was the changes what the, what was previous changes and previous to previous changes the total life cycle of any bank you can track it from this framework that is the reason it's called life cycle management cash and bank life cycle management so that's it for this video i hope you have liked it you have you will be able to utilize it in your in organization or in your implementation remember that is available for 10 or 10 or 40 version so that's it for this video i hope you liked it thanks thanks for watching oh my battery is getting so thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this thank you Bye for now.